You're listening to To Hatch a Pod with Key Budge, Corey Costello, Greg Garrett, and Ashley Whitmore. It's To Hatch Pod time. Maya Acosta here with your To Hatch P Talks for the week of October 16th. I cannot believe this month is already halfway over, but let's get into what's been going on this week. The beginning phases of construction at what will become Valley Park are underway. A $2.1 million grant awarded through the Caltrans Clean California program will help turn what was once a vacant dirt field on Valley Boulevard into a one-acre park, complete with a five a side soccer field and plenty of green space areas with trees, benches, picnic tables, and parking. The grant was awarded back in March of 2022, and the city is eager to bring the park to fruition. We'll keep you updated on this project as it continues to develop. On the topic of infrastructure, Granite Construction is on its final phase this week of the Grind and Overlay project on several downtown streets. The drivability and appearance of the repaired downtown roads is already a tremendous improvement compared to before the project began. Now with freshly painted lines and general cleanup underway, Drivers will soon benefit from the new asphalt and construction zone free driving down on D, E, F, and Poly streets. And did you know that there is a direct line of contact to the city to ask questions or report issues? At the touch of your fingers, you can simply report potential issues like a pothole near your house, for example, or receive information on upcoming events, and even pay your bills without having to call anyone. By texting the word HI to 661-441-3844, you can text the city of Tehachapi directly. Skip the phone call and get the information you need directly through a text message with the TextMyGov program. Again, text the word HI to 661-441-3844. And there's some other cool features with this program that I'll get into in the coming weeks. Switching gears now to some exciting upcoming holiday fun, Ulta One Federal Credit Union is hosting its Trunk or Treat on Friday, October 27th from 6 to 8 p.m. at its Tucker Road branch. And several downtown businesses are getting together to create a trick-or-treat trail on Halloween from 4 to 7 p.m. A map of participating businesses will be shared in the coming weeks. Several of those businesses are asking for candy donations to help with the trick-or-treat trail. You can bring those candy donations to Funky Junk, Go To Girls, Auntie M's Boutique, Kelsey's Restaurant, and Sheridan's Boutique. And finally, I know it's not even Halloween yet, but the city is busy thinking about our hometown Christmas event. This event will be held on Saturday, December 2nd from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. on Green Street between F Street and Hotspur Boulevard. There will be vendors selling wonderful wares to help you check off items on your Christmas shopping list. There will be crafts, games, and a letter to Santa writing workshop. Not to mention live music, performances, and even a very special appearance from old St. Nick himself. If you are a local business and are interested in participating as a vendor or a brick and mortar storefront that would like to be featured in the event, you have until Thursday, November 2nd to submit your application and proof of entrance. You can contact me at macosta at tehachbcityhall.com for more information on how to apply. That'll do it for this episode of Tehachapi Talks. Be sure to tune in to Tehachapod for more on all things happening locally. See you next week. Tehachapod is a conversation about Tehachapi, featuring the community members who make this such a special place to call home. If you have a question or a thought you'd like to share, email media at tehachapicityhall.com. Thank you to Gary Mazzola for sharing his song, This is Tehachapi.